Hello everyone, welcome along to another video. Today we're going to be having a look at If I Could Fly by Joe Satriani. It's a really good song. I played it through in the first video so you can you can have a look at it. Now this is a really long tune so I've kind of cut it short just where it gets to the blues licks. Um, so uh, it's a lot of numbers when you teach these things <laughs> and these songs can get really complicated but I hope this helps to see it uh, played through. Uh, so let, let's see how the different parts go. So here's the first phrase of this song. So you've got four on a G up to three on the B. Twice on three on the B, back to four. And then slide from two into three. All right, that's on the B string. And four up to six. Two, four, back to two again on the G. So so far we've got this. Second phrase is this, almost the same. So this bit is the same. Then we're sliding from four to six. Two on the G. From four to six. Last one again. And then finally the, the, the second one. Then we do a little slides off, kind of slide there with your hand. Then we've got the main melody. Okay, uh, let me finish it there. So, um, first of all, we've got this uh, bend 17 on the B, bit of vibrato, 15 on the high E, back to 17 there on the B side. Then we have this. This bit is 17 to 15, 17 to 15. And again, and again. But this time up to 19, 15 on the B, and slide back to 12 on the B. So then we have this. So this is uh, pull off 17 to 15, then 17 on the high E, and then bend 17 on the B again to 15. 16 on the G, 14 to 15 on the B. Alright, then we have this. Yeah, so uh, we're bending this again. 17. But now we're bending a half a step higher, so we're bending that 17 to 19. 17 to 15 again. That, that bit is the same. The end bit, we have this. So we're doing that bend on 17 up to 19, then another half step. 15, back to 14, and then 17 on the high E. And that note kind of just uh, sustains. Okie dokie, right now we're on to some legato fun, which goes like this. Okay, so this bit, um, Joe Satriani likes to do this so a lot, this kind of um, idea. It's very, very cool. Um, it's a legato line, so he's really going, he's playing that, that scale there but he approaches it quite quirky. So this bit, uh, what you're gonna do here is pull off five, 
four, uh, five, three, okay, on the high E, slide back to two, and then up to three, hammer on to five, hammer on to seven. That's confusing, isn't it? So it sounds like that. And now, when you're on seven, pull seven off to five, to three, back to two, up to three, up to five, so. Okay, when you're on seven there, pull that off to five, that off to three, so, so far. And then two, three, two up to three, pull three off to two, off to nothing. And then um, what you're going to do here, you're going to do a similar move where you're pulling five off to three, back to two on the B string. Up to three again, up to five, up to seven. So let me play that bit. It, it, these licks kind of don't make sense slow, but anyway. <laughs> so that's five, three, two, and then four, two, four, six, four, two. All right. So. And then we, we another little trick you can do is five. So there's a few different ways he's really doing this differently every time. Right. Hope that makes sense. Right. Now we've got some more legato. We've got this phrase. This is a phrase he does a lot, by the way. So this is four, five, seven on the A. Same on the D. And then pull seven off to five, off to four, and then up to five, seven and nine. You've got that. And now uh, at the end, you've got four, sorry, six, seven, nine on the G, pull nine off to seven, off to six. Right, that's confusing, isn't it? Here it is from the beginning. And once you've pulled that off, you hammer back on again, seven to nine, and finish on seven on B. Okay, that's that little line he does. Uh, now, now he does the same thing, uh, but just up to an octave. So uh, what you're doing here is six, seven, nine. All right, and then seven, eight, ten on the B off 10 to 8 to 7. So you got that. Now when you get to that 7, slide up there to uh, 8 again, 10, 12, and then 9, 10, 12. So that little section All right, then we have this line. So um, this one here is quite a cool one. You're siding 14, 13, 12, that's a put off, back to, to nine, and finally up to 12 on the high E. So this is a pull off, uh, 14 to 12, up to 17 on the high E, twice, back to 12 and then pull off 14 to 12, so so far. Okay. At the end you've got 14, 12, pull off 14 to 12 on the B.
and then at the end then you're pulling 14 to 12 off on the B string 14 on the G 11 on the G and then uh, to 14 again all right so then we have this one This is uh, 14 on the high E, up to 19. Just once, all right, pull that off. And then twice on the 19. And then three times on the uh, high E there, on the uh, 14th fret. Okay. And now after that we're going 14 on the B up to 19 on the B. And then 16 on the G. 14 on the B back to 16. So then we have this long legato kind of run. So this is down the D major scale, really. Um, so uh, so you're doing this. Um, it's 14 up to 16. Slide back to 12. 12 up to 14. Back to 11. 11 to 12. Put off to 9. 9 to 11. Back to 7. So so far we've got this. And then we're going to slide back one to, to uh, six here, up to seven, back to, back to four, up to six again, back to four. So, so far that sounds really complicated, but it's really just... Two slide up to four, then we have four on the B. Then we've got some blues licks. So that's a bend on 10 on the high E. And then 10 on the high E let once it's let down. Uh, then 10 here on the, sorry, I'm sorry, seven on the B. And then you're bending 10 here on the uh, B string. And then back to seven on the high E. Ten to seven on the B. And then a bend up and nine on the G. Let down, pull off the seven. Nine here on the, uh, on the D. And then uh, a hammer on seven to nine. So we've got. Then we have this. This is a cool lick. Um, so this is seven on the high E. Ten, pull off to uh, seven. Uh, and then bend up that nine on the G. And then we're gonna do this seven on the B. And then down the blue scale, that's 10, pull off to nine, pull off to seven. All right. Then we have this lick. This is all the same lick, but you can kind of think of it as two licks. Okay, so this one, uh, once you're on that nine here of the D, you're gonna pull off nine to seven on the G, nine on the D to seven on the G. And then nine off to seven on the D. So, and then nine on the A to seven on the D. And then at the end, 
Then you're sliding nine back to seven on the A. Pull off the five, seven on the low E, seven on the A. Back to seven on the low E. So that's that little blues lick, that's a great one. Uh, so this bit is um, seven pull off the five on the low E, same on the A. And then a slide up from seven to nine on the A. That's nine on the uh, A to seven on the D. And then two pull-offs on the uh, nine to seven. And then six on the G to seven. Okay. And then slide from seven to nine on the G up to seven on the B. Sorry. Then we've got some more legato lines, legato lines, sorry, uh, 7 to 8 to 10, 7, 9, 10, 7, 9, 10, and you can do that one again. Uh, and then once you get to 10, pull off 9 to 7 to 10 on the B, 8, 7, up again. You've got that. Now, um, after that bit, 10 to 9, up to, off to 7, and then you're climbing up the scale again, 9, 10, 12, and then 12, 10, 9, and then you're climbing up again, 10, 12, 9, stay with me, this gets complicated, this. Now, when you're up to here, you're pulling uh, 14 off to 12, up to 10, back to 9, up to 10 to 12. And back to 7, 9, 10, 10, 8, 7. Uh, at the end, you're going to the G string 7, sorry, that's 9, 7, Six and then nine on the D here, and then a quick hammer on some six to seven. That sounds so complicated. These lines, when you try and explain them, <laughs> they're um, you know quite uh, sound quite complicated, really. But uh, when, if you put it uh, together, sorry, that wasn't the best playthrough of that, but. Uh, He's kind of stopping on some notes there. So when you're doing this hammer on, kind of stop on that D, stop on the E, on the F sharp, which is there, stop on the E again, stop on that A. Difficult ones to explain these because they just they just kind of sound like numbers, don't they? <laughs> when you don't uh, play them through. Um, okay, right. That's the end of uh, that section. So if I play that through, Slide off, back to the melody. And then we finish here. All right, now uh, we are into uh, the melody again, but this time on the low E string. OK. 
okay? So that's seven on the low E to five on the A. Slide in from four to five on the A. Seven up to nine. Back to five on the low E. Up to seven. Back to five. Then we have. That's the same. That slide is. And then a, that slide from four to five is the same. Five to seven here on the. On the, uh, on the A string. Sorry. And then for my backing track, I was doing, um, it kind of finishes there. I think on this version it's a bit longer, but uh, uh, this one. So that bit, melody same. And then strike on that fifth fret of the A. Up to seven uh, on the A. Do the same, five to seven on D. And then seven to nine on the G, and then and then a slide from uh, eight to ten there on the hot, on the B string. All right. So uh, then we're into some chordal things. It's a D uh, sus two chord. This is a D to A. Just before he goes back to the D, he does a D with an F sharp on the top. And again. Then a pick slide. Now we've got some cool blues licks. So this is 14, 12 on the G. 14 on the G. And then a curl 13 on the B. And we have this. So, so this bit, 14 on the D. 12, that for 14. Back to 12 on the G. And then we're going to do a little curl twice on the 13 on the B. Pull off 14 to 12 on the G. Fourteen to twelve on the G, fourteen on the D. Twelve to fourteen, and then that curl again on the thirteen on the B. So the first one again, then we have this. So, uh, so that is 14, 12, and then 14. All right, and that's 14 G. Three times. 13 to 15 on the B. That's 13. Sorry. So this uh, next bit is 17, uh, sorry, 15 on the B. Bend up, back down, put off the 13. 14 on the G, 13 to 15, so, uh, all right, then we have this, that, so bend up 15 on the B, back down, pull off the 13, 
14 on the G, and then bend up 15 twice. A bit of vibrato, right? Um, then the last one. So this is a pre-bend, 15 up a whole step, let down. 13. Back to 15 again. Up again. And then that's 14 to 12 on G. And then that curl. There, so let me play all those phrases through because that's a lot of numbers. And then we have. And then at the end. Okay, so this is um, five, pull off to uh, eight to five on the B. That one again. And uh, that's uh, seven up to nine. And then same again. Pull eight off to five. But here's where it changes. You're going to eight on the G now to five on the B. That's uh, eight, seven, up to five. Okay. At the end, seven on the uh, D, seven on the G. You're going to break that seven on D. A curl on the five. So, uh, and then seven pull off the five, up to seven to five. That is a lot of notes. So, a lot of numbers there. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's what happens in his songs. Uh, if you can get, can get the tab as well to have a look at, that's re really good. But I hope it kind of helps seeing, seeing it played through. Do have a look at part one where I play it through. But look at his version. It's great. The only thing is he, he plays it slightly different each time uh, when he plays it live. So, this is the album version, right? So... Have some fun with that. Remember to subscribe if you can and I'll see you in the next video.